Okay, guys, I am doing a reboxing, a review of this deck. This deck is the Light Seekers Tarot deck. Okay, I love the size. Um, the size is beautiful. I love the way it's packed. I love the size. This is good for in your hands. And this is what the box looks like. This is the back of the box. This is perfect. It's, I, I love it. I really love it. I saw it and I was wondering. I haven't opened it um, yet to see what it's like. But this is what it looks like when you remove the plastic away from it. Um, I got this from off eBay. So here we are. The other um, so um, this is beautiful. I got it off eBay. Um, I really do. It's seventy eight cards. I really do um, like the boxing. It's beautiful. Um, let me see who has done this deck. Um, it doesn't show. It doesn't says who has done this deck. But with the back of it, it looks like what Carol and has done. So I'm going to look in the book to find out who has done this. It's the energy of the magician. So I see that whenever I do a deck and because uh, this is the first time there is no book in this box. I don't know if it comes with a book, but there is no book in this box. OK, so this um, deck, I got it off eBay. So be aware of this. So really positive, really wonderful. So. We are going to begin um, with the energy of the magician. And as you realize, the eye princess is the um, 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 the woman on the deck of the box. But as we look at the magician, how beautiful this energy of the magician is. It's absolutely beautiful. It's um, unbelievable. I love this. I love the size of it. I love the feeling of it. It is a beautiful um, deck also. Um, then you have the eye princess and the energy of the eye princess. I love this because it's depicting a lot of water, um, a lot of uh, um, stability that is happening and transpiring. The energy of the eye princess is just so wonderful. It's just so powerful. And I really love this. Um and if you notice the energy of the magician of the infinity sign, and this is good, and it has to do with water. Water is about the infinity of who we are. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see this very closely because the light is here. How beautiful it is. And it has like little identities that is there. Now, the energy of the wheel of fortune. Absolutely brilliant. Fabulous, fabulous, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune. I love this. I don't know, but um, the new designers of Tarot Deck is just coming out so powerful. I am glad to get away of the, the Knight of Swords and that sort of a thing. And if you look at the Wheel of Fortune, it's all about fortune. And um, this is like the Tree of Light where the energy of fortune is, okay? I think I better turn the light out in order. Um for you guys um, to see this um, properly, okay? So, um, here is the energy, but it's, oh, okay, so there we go. So now I'm getting it. So here is the energy, it's really wonderful, it's really powerful. Um, I love this um, Wheel of Fortune because it's bringing in a lot of uh, um, extra possibilities that is coming up that is just going to be so really powerful. Then we have the energy of the hermit and really good. Um, and, you know, the energy of the hermit is so well depicted in these cards. It's not as if the man with just uh, a lantern, but it is depicted as you going within. You see the truth and the truth is coming out. The Knight of Wands is here. Okay. So apparently these decks has been shaken around. So what I'm going to do is like get the one's energy out. So I'm seeing the energy of the Knight of Wands, the Ace of Cups. So I'm going to be removing them justice. So let's um, keep that going. I'm going to be removing them and separating them in order um, for you guys to see. I love the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. She has really done this deck. Really wonderful. The energy of the Fool. We had the Magician that came out first in this deck. And this is just so 
powerful with the um the energy of the magician so it is um an incredible deck i love this i am not sure who is the author because i do not have a book but this is definitely definitely fantastic um it is the way to go the elephant justice um the lovers the chariot strength um so um the energy of the pentacles is just so absolutely wonderful there is no question about um this it is a good um deck it's a deck that brings in a lot of balance and you guys are going to be seeing this in this deck i love this um deck because i saw it and i was like yes um um the energy of the light workers and i would advise a lot of people to do um use the energy of the light workers this is ten of one so use the energy of the light workers in order to create a lot of wealth around you and in order to create a lot of stability around you and this is going to be good um the energy of the light worker is a really really par powerful energy um because um it brings out light in um situations and this is so so beautiful um, the Ace of Wands, uh, um, when we reach to the, the Wands energy, you guys have to really um, look at these energies because they're so absolutely beautiful. They are bringing in so much light um, in the world and they are just so incredible, incredible, um, fantastic. So I've um, separated them and this is good so we're going to be going back the energy of the fool and i think that this was the first card i ever saw of this deck and i decided yes i wanted this deck i just think it was just so this time it was in the time it was so powerful and in the time i really love this then we look at the energy of the empress and it's a beautiful beautiful energy just is the energy of the print and the empress that is coming up and it's just so fantastic so wonderful that is creating a lot of uh, um wonderful wonderful possibilities um when you're reading um this deck um then we see strength and it is with a lamp i just depict this is so beautiful because strength is with a lamb and it's as if you are going within to find that powerful strength within you in order to create a lot of energy the energy of the chariot okay all chariots comes with the energy of the horse i love this this is beautiful the depict the um the back of the cards is um this and it is so beautiful i like um the star it's like an eye but it is an incredible one i see you moving forward in a new direction then we have the energy of the lovers another wonderful and it's all about people it's about modern day people it's about naturality of the modern day but with a whole lot of beautiful assets um where there is a star and uh, um, there is a lot of positive energies that is coming off these cards. I can tell you this. So then we look at the Aerophant and the energy of the Aerophant with justice. And I don't know why we have this. The energy of the Aerophant with justice with just so much powerful, wonderful alignment of energies that is coming up. That is just creating a lot of possible and a lot of possibility. If you realize the energy of justice and um how it has a shadow side to it which is so good especially when you read and if you read reverse cards so, so i myself i really do love this card um i have no hang ups about these cards temperance is absolutely wonderful um this is really when you go in balance and try to find your balance and tempered out um issues and situation and this is good then we have the energy of the world and if you notice how small these cards are but i think that they're just fine especially when you're doing a reading um this is just absolutely beautiful i've had them now like for a week or so i i, I was too busy in order to do the um the review but i'm doing the review and i i this card is an absolutely 
it is the light work seekers the light seekers tarot deck and it's really beautifully um upset the judgment i love the energy of judgment because it's about showing um that you're justifying something and it's absolutely beautiful and if you look at the energy of the sun how brilliant these two are um together so it's a wonderful wonderful alignment of energy then we have the moon and the sun and it is good the moon is about secrecy and you can see things hidden things things that was hidden that you were not aware of um that is going to be showing up and that is going to be coming up and this is wonderful so we have the energy of the moon and the star together. So this is just a really beautiful deck. Um, I'm not sure if they come in a, a larger size, but you guys can go check out if they come in a larger size. Then we have the energy of the tower. And this is absolutely brilliant. It's fabulous. It's different with the energy of the tower. And if you look at the energy of the star, um, and what I love about these cards, especially these new cards that is coming out, there's a whole lot of um, scientific stars and that sort of a thing that is coming up, which is just truly beautiful. I like the energy of this towel because it's creating a lot. Now, look at Mr. Lover Lover. Oh, yeah, they come. This is, um, yeah, so be aware of a man who is like this or a person because trust me, they are coming up. Look at that. They come as if they're so positive then we have the energy of the hangman and this is a really beautiful depict of the end man with the devil so absolutely fabulous i am blown away i love these i think they're so nicely done especially this energy of that is so nicely done and the energy of the hangman is just a ballerina um, that is really nicely depicted. So um, this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Then we have the emperor. Obviously, it's a man. Um, and it's a businessman. And it's an organization man. And what I do love about this card is just there is a lot of black people in these cards. And I just so love it. So congratulations to whoever has created this deck. Um, it is an absolutely wonderful deck. I am super, super um blown away from this deck because uh, um the 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 depictment of this deck is just absolutely wonderful how um this is coming up and transpiring so you know reach out um um share um because it's all about uh, helping each other and especially as light workers some people create decks some people are um uh some people create decks some people are uh they basically use the deck so be gracious and go out get yourself a deck um and um try out this deck because i i, I personally find this deck to be an absolutely absolutely fabulous deck okay so um a lot of people and uh, I don't know, but this, this deck just came out because I just opened it because I got them, but I was so, so busy. Um, so I could not, um, get into doing it. And this is why I'm just doing the reviews, but I just really, I do all reviews on my decks because I see, and I think that whatever that is happening and transpire with all the reviews of these decks is just wonderful. Because what we're realizing and how we're we are seeing things that is going on in um, the transformation on this planet at the sun. This is a five of swords I was looking for. Um, it is just so um, powerful um, when we are looking at uh, how we recreate on this planet. And this is absolutely wonderful because what we're seeing is that we're changing the forms of how things has been always on this planet and we are making shift on this planet by making a lot of changes that is happening so um this is really really good so there is some um, um you know help each other especially light workers help each other by creating 
um, and how we help each other is by supporting each other. And I do believe in supporting people. I am one of those people that do believe in supporting people because I think that if we support each other, we can create a lot of uh, positive alignment of energies. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just trying to sift through this in order to get every um to get the energies together. So I love the heartbreak um in this deck, whatever is transpiring, and you're gonna say why you love the heartbreak of the deck is because it depicts the timeline, okay? So we have been working um with tarot decks, especially for a very long time in a weird, weird timeline, okay. And it says the Ace of Swords, and this is absolutely beautiful. Then we have the Two of Swords, where it's a lot of worries, okay? The Two of Swords is a lot of worries, not seen clearly, and the Ace of Swords, and this is just absolutely brilliant. It depicts it. The Three of Hearts, um, whatever is transpiring, this is what I was saying about the heartbreak. Um, it is just nicely depicted. Then we have the Four of Swords, where you need to get rest, okay? So um, that is so fantastic. Then we have the Five of Swords, a lot of worrying, the Black Birds, a lot of worrying. Um, then we have the Six of Swords, where you're moving away from negative energies, moving to something better. Then we have the Six of, um, Seven of Swords, where you find that someone was uh, stealing something, Okay, and then you have the Eight of Swords where you're blind, you're not seen clearly. The Nine of Swords where you're there worrying. It's a beautiful depicted energy. And the Ten of Swords when everything has it rock bottom, then you have the energy of the Page of Swords. So um, really, and the Page of Swords with the Ninth of Swords is someone that is going off. And then you see the Queen of Swords, which is really sitting and acquiring that state of mind and i i really really think that this person who have designed this deck has done a really really good job um at how she depicts the energy and with um the swords energy with all these blue and all the it's just normal people and i think that that is the most beautiful thing then we are going to be looking at the Wands, the Ace of Wands. It's absolutely beautiful. There is no question about this. It's absolutely beautiful. You see the Two of Wands, the Ace of Wands. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no question about this. Um, this is a beautiful um, setup. Then we have the Three of Wands moving forward because you have accomplished what it is um, that you wanted to accomplish, which is uh, so good. Then we have the four of ones where you're standing strong, you're happy, you're recreating. This is absolutely, absolutely fabulous and um, good. Then we have the five of ones where there is conflicts as usual. As I said to people, five of ones is always about conflicts. Okay. Then we have the ten of ones, which is just so beautiful. Um, the... Um, the six of wands and this is about victory so if you look at this it's all about victory um and then we have the energy of uh, the seven of wands and this is all about victory it's all good um it's really a um, positive alignment of energy then we have the eight of wands and the eight of wands is beautiful because a lot of stuff is coming together um, expect that a lot of stuff is going to be coming together, which is just so powerful. Then we have the nine of ones. You stand in your ground, protecting yourself. A really, really positive um, energy that is transpiring. Um, then we have the ten of ones, where there you see it's all about burdens. I've always explained this to people. Ten of ones is really, really all about burdens. Then we have um, the uh, the page of wands where news information is coming in. It's just absolutely beautiful because it's just normal people. Then you have the energy of uh, um, let's get the queen and the kings together. Um, 
So we have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. And you see the age group that that's when I'm doing my readings. I'm always calling about age group and people are, oh, no, no. But there you can see the energy. And this is just absolutely, absolutely fabulous. And it's just so, so good. So a positive, positive alignment of energies, especially using um, um, this energy of uh, the depicting of the people and who it affects. And it is beautiful. So I really love the deck. I love the feelings of this. Um, it is so nice. Um, you don't have to have a huge table. Okay. And the back of the card is just absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Then we are going to be going to the emotions. And we are going to be going to the emotions of things, which is just so, so good. It is just a positive alignment of energies. When we are receiving the energies of uh, um, the wonderful um, things that is going to be coming in. And this is a, a you, this is really a wonderful, nice energy to start out. Uh, if you're going to be starting out, um, um, this is just so nice. Look at this. This is the Ace of Cups. This is about receiving love. And this is what I've always seen. It's a really, whoever that did this card, just like the other one, it's about receiving love. It's just absolutely, absolutely brilliant. Then we have the energy of the Two of Cups, which is just enormously, it's a shift of energy. The Two of Cups and the Three of Cups. And it's just normally um, just the shift of energy what is coming up. So the Two of Cups is there. Um, in order, you have the three of cups and it's just absolutely beautiful. Okay. I love the colors. Um, and the four of cups is about you wishing you hadn't done something and wishing that changes would come up. Five of cups is like regrets, but look at the four of cups energy. Oh, um, really wonderful. This is so. Then as we move to the five of cups, it's absolutely brilliant. The six of cups, what I said, it's always family and friends. There you are with the friends, the dog. So it's all about friends, the six of cups and family. Seven of cups is like you have a lot to, um, to, to choose from. This is good. You can't make a decision. That's what I'm always saying. And this is absolutely just Really, um, I will go out and get them like right away because this deck is just absolutely beautiful. So we have the seven of cups and we have the eight of cups. We we are leaving something behind with the energy of the eight of cups. Um, seeing the truth of a situation, nine of cups. Oh yeah, you receive what you wanted, and it's absolutely beautiful. A wonderful alignment of energy. The ten of cups is super, super wonderful. Um, really, really positive energy, seeing the truth about things, understanding the energy of the Ten of Cups. The Page of Cups is just so brilliant, so fantastic. It's good. It's about balancing out. And then we come down to the Page of Cups and the, um, the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Then we come to Mr. Lover Lover and Mrs. Lover Lover. So I really do love this, guys. Please leave message. Please leave a review. I think this is one of the most beautiful, beautiful decks. Um, really. Um, please share these videos and go out. Um, you know, if you know someone who um uh use tarot decks, um, get them a deck for their birthday or for Christmas. Use this deck. Get this deck. It is just so powerful. I do love this. So I love the feelings of this card. Um, it is um, absolutely, I really, really, really love the feelings of this card because it is creating a lot. The feelings of a card does a lot. It's like, it's like silk on your hands. And this is just so good. It's really like silk on your hands. And uh, it's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, really brilliant. It's really like silk on your hands. And I like that. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but they have used the right paper in order to print this deck. 
this is the ace of pentacles and um this is um really wonderful the ace of pentacles is a beautiful beautiful deck the ace of pentacles open up a lot of possibilities the two of pentacles is here where you need to make a decision whether you go right left or um however and then you have the three of pentacles which is collaborating to uh, you see different people different cultures different colors collaborating together in order to create a lot of possibility in your life then i see the energy of the four of pentacles where you see this and i so love the person whoever you are you have done a really good african-american black people this is so positive this is so good i love it and if anyone knows the Af african-american card please please i would like to have that deck i can't seem to I, I've been trying to order it from last year. So look at the four of pentacles. Look at the sky. This woman, you know, she have cultivated enough for herself. And she's very pleasing and very happy and very pleasing. And this is beautiful. Then we have the energy of hardship, the five of pentacles. And you're saddened. Hardship, financial hardship, you're saddened. And then I see a lot of money is coming in. And this is really, really fantastic. The six of pentacles help is coming in. Then I see the energy of the seven of pentacles. And this is absolutely fantastic because you're trying to grow and create some form of a wealth and abundance in your world. And this is really, really good. Really depicted of how I read the cards. Then I see the energy of the eight of pentacles. This is wonderful. It's you at work. Um, you create an um, um, work for yourself. This is good. Um, you're at work focusing, um, connecting to your work, which is very, very positive. The Knight of Pentacles is absolutely fabulous. I love this. Um, you did really a good job because it's um, hard to color, to paint black people. You have to find the right color paint. And this is just so perfect, okay? And these are all different color people. And look at the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is like all different colors and um, different size and this depicts and look at the white bird which is always a luck and um, this is absolutely fabulous if you look at the ten of pentacles as i always said it's about financial stability family financial stability creating your wealth and family financial stability and this is so good so it is um a beautiful beautiful deck then we're looking at the page of pentacles and this is also a really fine wonderful um deck that is um transpiring then we have the energy of the knight of pentacles this is someone who is going out looking for their financial wealth and their financial stability and this is absolutely fabulous so this is good then we have the king and queen of pentacles yay 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 you capricorn taurus and virgo persons you are looking quite smashing, smashing, darlings, smashing. I do love this card. I can't wait to use them, but I don't use it before I do a review. And it is because um, I love going through them, feeling them out and programming them as we go along. So um, I can't, this is just unreal that I, and if anyone knows the creator, of this deck um by remains transition transaction the archetype and symbol in a contemporary booba and uh, intuitive style the light seeker Tarek expressing the light and shadow side of our natural and express the lessons that can be learned from both the expression characteristic who live within the landscape of the card tells the story um questions ask question and provide guidance but still i have not seen who i've created this deck and i'm not going over it am i and if you notice because here it is so maybe someone else have this deck that has this book um, what I can say, oh my God, it's just a light seeker star. Right? So I'm not sure who has created this deck, but whoever finds out who has created this deck, just mail me, send me a message, um, because I think they have done a really wonderful, fabulous job. So 
I love doing this with a new deck, especially when I do a review of this deck. Um, I think this deck is an, a 10, a big, huge 10. Please remember, whoever know who is the person, just mail me the name because I always just look at decks and what connects with me and this is how I buy my deck. So something flipped out and I see the energy of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Um, so if you're watching this and uh, you're in a relationship with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, um, um, if you had a question you were asking a while ago, it's about the Knight of Cups, okay? So what is happening with the Knight of Cups? A lot of worries for the Knight of Cups. A lot of worries, a lot of sadness, a lot of worries. The Knight of Cups is being stabbed in the back. But I see happiness and joy is going to be coming in and they are going to be turning their backs and I see the energy of the multiple opportunities is going to be coming in. So I see a lot of celebration. This card deck is going to be end up a, a huge success. So whoever has done this card deck, you're definitely going to be um, a huge success. This card deck is really a 10. Um, this is really positive, really good. It is a 10. The only thing I, I personally miss in this deck is um, that you have the Knight of Cups. I wish you had the Princess also. So, because the Knight of Cups can be depicted um, as a male and a female. So I, you know, I wish that if you, the next deck you make, make the Princess and the Prince because um, this gives more information because this is definitely a man, a female, a male energy and um, um, it's a woman but whoever this person is, is really in love. This person is really in love, okay? And I see happiness and joy with this person. I see a lot of opportunities is going to be coming in but I see some sadness that is here. Whoever this Knight of Cups is and whatever is transpiring I see some of you, this um, person is a Pisces and in the past they had a lot of uh, uh, open options um, um, that was there um, and uh, now there is sadness and there is as if uh, this person is being stabbed in the back and felt um, some sort of a sadness but they are going to be overcoming whatever the sadness is. This Knight of Cups is definitely going to be overcoming. And I see um, soon they are going to be able um, to choose, to pick and choose. Um, and this is going to be good. So this is going to be a beautiful um, deck. It is a deck that is going to be very much successful. Um, so this is good. I see some of you are going to be successful over a fire sign person. Whoever this fire sign person is, whatever this fire sign person has done, I see you are going to be successful over this. Now, the energy of this night is coming up as a, a female, whoever this male or female is. But for the Pisces men, you're going to be okay. I see a lot of worries. I see as if you were stabbed in the back of some of you, um, this is going to be good. So whoever you are out there and whoever was listening, this deck is really going to be a success. I do love you guys. Be aware of this. And I will say namaste until next time. <music>